Hi guys, it's me Nana. How you doing? <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. I'm here today to do a different kind of haul. And it's not really a haul, it's a pack the box. It's a pack the box with Dollar Tree stuff. It just so happens I have four grandbabies, one on the way. In fact, my fourth grandbaby was born just a couple of days ago, right? six pounds, eight ounces, 18 inches of her. <laughs> Nana hasn't seen her yet either, but Nana's gonna be packing a special box and delivering it in person very soon, very soon. I'll be there, baby, very soon. Can't wait to meet you. Anyway, she doesn't watch my videos yet. <laughs> but what I have for you is a pack the box. It's a very special box. It's going to be traveling from my house all the way across the pond and on to another continent, the continent of Australia. My little babies, my oldest granddaughter and my oldest grandson are on an adventure in Australia. They're halfway done, a little more than halfway done, I think, and they'll be back soon. But until then, Nana has to send Easter in a box. So we're going to try to see how much we can get into this box and onto them. But since Nana wasn't into Dollar Tree yet when they left, this will be extremely fun for them because they'll get to watch the video and open the box at the same time. So babies, this is for you. Nana loves you. Okay, so let's put stuff in the box, right? Whatever we can get in here gets to go across the pond. First, let's go over what we can give that is for both of them. Pencils and erasers. Doesn't get any better, right? Who doesn't want those beautiful erasers? Girl or boy, chicks, bunnies, eggs, flowers. They're all in there and just cute as can be. And then matching pencils. You know, that's kind of the prerequisite, right? We get pencils and erasers for our little ones. And then what they can have separately will be little signs. Now, I'm not gonna be able to fit the whole thing, so Grandpa's gonna be doing a little bit of work. So we're gonna cut the stick a little bit so they can put that up in their room. And this will be for my oldest grandson. And this will be for my chickadee granddaughter. What do you think? Kind of cute, isn't it? It's kind of like a card. A card to the grandbabies from Nana. And then of course they're going to share a few things and that would be eggs. And the eggs will have different things in them. There's four in this pack. Aren't they cute? Oops, I can't see that one. Aren't they cute? Hmm, no little baby's not gonna want that, right? So we'll fill them up. Candy. Maybe a little surprise, too. And then these. This one was open when I got it. Have you seen these? They're the little chickies again. I can't wait till they see those. There's even a little tail in the back. Anyway, so we're going to fill these with candy. We're going to see how many we can get in there, of course, because there's a lot more important stuff, and that is what they need to get. Have you seen these? Oh my gosh, when I saw that, I was so excited. Body lotion and matching lip gloves. Now, I think we've had this one, remember? We had this one, I think I have it in the blue. And I saw this at one Dollar Tree, and then I saw this at my new Dollar Tree. And I have a whole new haul for the new Dollar Tree. You just wait, it's coming, the new Dollar Tree haul. But I wanted to show you this first, but this so. For the girl, it's always easier. I don't know why, but we got a little candle. See this, it's gardenia. A little candle on its own stand. Like that, that's really cute. And believe it or not, see that, it's purple duct tape. But you know how I like to do smash boxes and things? She loves to draw. And so this would be really good inside one of her um, drawing books. So I thought, you know, that would be a good thing to Girl. sell. And I found this at my new Dollar Tree. This one is Summer Fruits and Warm Vanilla Lip Gloss. Two of them for a dollar. Two pack lip gloss. Now, 
If you go to those those other stores in the mall, this would be ten dollars. That's wonderful, and you know she loves lip gloss, so I got her another one, and this one is called um, Pink Cherry Scented. Isn't that cute? Here's this one she can put on her purse. And then, since she has the chicky, I got her this for her room. Isn't that cute? And she can either put it in a room or she can put it outside, but it's. It's the paper lantern, and I, you know, I'm gonna be able to fit, fit it in the box, no problem. And what cute, send her her own decoration. Playing cards, but these are the Shopkins playing cards. And the one thing, one thing my, my babies like to do is they like to play games. So, playing cards, those are so cute. She'll love that. And then, each one of them will get their own individual rabbit. Now I'm gonna have to wrap that really well because you know that's gotta travel a long way. And each one of them will get a ceramic painting set. She loves penguins, so she gets the penguin. I can't wait to see how she paints that one. And the boy some emoji markers. I just fell in love with that. Look at that. Again, I got this at my new Dollar Tree that I found. It was large, a very large Dollar Tree. I didn't know. It's a little bit further of a drive, but wow, was it worth it. Aren't they good? Oh my, non-toxic and washable, five. And of course, he gets a paper lantern too. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see him put that up, but you know, I'll get pictures of the whole thing too. So, he gets the yellow Easter bunny, and I know they'll, they'll probably just put those up out in their house. So each of one of them has an Easter bunny, and he will get the Avengers playing cards. Jumbo playing cards. I saw those and I thought, oh my gosh, they'll be perfect for him because, see that? The ceramic egg. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I just, they'll love to do this. They'll be on break, I'm sure, and they'll love to do all the break stuff. I saw these at one of those candy stores in the mall and it was one of those um, vintage candy stores and they wanted $5 for this. $5 and I said, that must taste really good. So I got two and I tried the other one and it tastes like an hour later. It's really good, but there's 24 pieces in here so they can eat this and uh, not feel guilty. So just a little bit of sugar and a lot of taste. I thought it was pretty good. So I'll send it to the grandson. Mama can remind him to brush his teeth. And then I found these favor boxes and I thought, wow, what a perfect way to personalize, and there's um, eight, eight of these. So see, they're like Chinese takeout, Chinese takeout boxes. There we go. And I thought, oh my gosh, Nana can put some really cute stuff in there. But anyway, the point of this is that if someone lives far away from you, it doesn't mean you can't get to them. And you know, you can print the, you can weigh it at your house, you can um, print out the label, and you never have to leave your home. So that is perfect for Nana, because Nana is the worst at getting to the mailbox. So that's short, sweet, and to the point. I hope it gave you some ideas. I hope it inspires you to send something to someone far, far away. If you're anything like me, it's kind of the hardest thing to do. So uh, mine will be a card, a card that says, I miss you and I love you. And I can't wait to see you again, but I hope you enjoy what Nana brought to you, what Nana sent to you and Nana's thinking about you always. Okay, so I'm gonna let you go. It's just a quick little video. And I hope you have a great day, and I hope your Easter season is really picking up. Have a great, great day. See you soon. Bye now.